Hey guys, Scout with Brian, Brian Oranger here. I wanted to come on and wax poetically for a bit and tell you guys um, the secret of basketball for really any players, coaches, anybody trying to make it uh, to the next level or a higher level or just get better. Um, you know, there's a ton of players, kids that always just, you know, think there's a magic trick and, and a secret. Um, to, to really improving and to becoming a, a good or great player. Um, and they're absolutely right. There is. Uh, and I'm going to tell you what it is in this video. Um, and it's really earth shattering and I think it's going to, going to change your life. Um, so without further ado, drum roll, please. Here's the deal. The secret to basketball is there's no secret. Sorry to be a little cliche, but it is, I promise you, 100% true. The secret to success in basketball is far more about resolve and mentality and just the way you conduct yourself and play the game than it is about, you know, your skill set or, or your fundamentals. I mean, all those things for sure are unbelievably important. The, the game is about, you know, having, you have to be skilled, you have to be able to shoot, pass, and dribble, you know, you have to be disciplined, you have to be fundamental, all those things. But even if you have those things, if you're not a relentless competitor, if you don't play hard every second, you have no chance. And, and that is, honestly, it, it's a huge separator uh, between you know, pros or, or high-level college players, whatever, and, and guys that, that don't get it and don't make it. Playing hard is a skill. It is. Hustle is a skill. And you could look, I mean, it's how many guys that are, you know, mediocre in terms of athleticism that went on to be defensive player of the years or, or top 10 picks. I mean, Joachim Noah, Nikola Jokic, I mean, you know, Giannis obviously is a freak, but, you know, he, he's self-made. He went from being a 15th pick and a skinny little Greek kid to the hardest playing guy in the league right now, the, the closest thing the NBA has to to Kobe in terms of just that killer mindset, that Mamba mentality. He gets it. And again, there's way too many kids today that, that, that don't get it. Um, I'm fresh off coaching a tournament this weekend, uh, where we lost all three of our games by a combined around a hundred points and it's embarrassing and the worst I've ever felt as a coach. Um, you know, and, and the sad thing is we got a good group of kids and, and they nod their heads and they, I, you know, they understand the message and I think it's starting to get through to them. And I hope to God it gets through after this weekend. But, you know, we, we had an off switch way too often, way too many plays. And, and a coach we even went against yesterday, uh, you know, a game that we lost by 30-something. He even came up to us post-game, and, and I didn't even realize what he was doing. But, you know, I saw he was, like, shooting around our post-game huddle, just messing around, whatever. And... I guess it turns out he was actually just trying to be like close enough to hear some of it. And then after our, our huddle, he, he comes in and says, say, coach, can I say something to the team? And he basically said, well, I'm telling you right now. And he was 100% right that the game is about up here. And he said, you know, you guys, you have good players. You, you, you have some guys that can go. But, you know, we got up 15 or whatever, and, and your resolve went like this. You stopped competing to your fullest. You know, you stopped making us uncomfortable. You stopped making us have to do something new that we weren't already doing. Um, you know, and it was, again, 100% right and, and refreshing and, and the truth. A, a guy that gets it. You know, I, I respect the heck out of that. Um, you know, again... <laughs> I mean, we when you lose three games by 100 points, uh, I told our team we were, without question, you know, we were physically overmatched. 
we don't have a single kid that can dunk. You know, we, we got nobody really over like six feet. Um, the other teams are got six, seven kids that can dunk. They're throwing alley-oops off the backboard. They're flying all over the place. And, and it's hard to beat those kids. But if you don't play with 100% intensity every single possession, you got no chance. You got two or three guys on the court playing hard at all times, you got no chance. You got four guys playing hard, you'll lose by 15 20. That's what's amazing and just great about basketball and why I love the game so much. It is about five guys playing in conjunction, playing together. I mean, there's a Coach K metaphor he's used where he's, you know, gone up to guys at practice and, and hit them like this. Does that hurt? What about that? Adding a finger each time. Does that hurt? But when you have five guys together, like a fist, that hurts. Not two, not three. Together. And it's got to be everybody. It's got to be everybody playing in conjunction, playing hard, playing on a string. Fighting for each other, diving on the floor, having that standard of excellence. So again, if you're you know a kid trying to reach the next level and just whatever that is for you, it might not be NBA, it might be your high school team, it might be you know low level college, whatever it is. You know, guys have different different ceilings. Not everybody's going to be a, a superstar. But the biggest thing, again, I can tell you from, from being around pros, from being around Bradley Beal and John Wall and Paul Pierce and all the, the vets I was lucky enough to be around in my seven years in the NBA, they, they got it. And those guys did not have an off switch. Paul Pierce at 35 years old, whatever he was when he was with us, I mean, he was three hours early to every single practice, the first one there, drenched in sweat, going through a full workout three hours before every practice. The first one on the court, after a game, when he's like the oldest dude on the team, first guy there, worked his ass off. And if you watch Paul Pierce play, I mean, you knew. He's a, he's a kind of tubby, 6'5", whatever, 6'6". Six, six. You can say whatever you want about him as an analyst, but, I mean, when he shot the ball half the time, he's like, willing it in and like doing this after he shoots it and like you know nothing about his stuff is like picturesque basketball but you know what he did he outcompeted everyone he had fucking heart and he worked on his game relentlessly and he competed his ass off on the court and he's going to be a hall of famer I mean, you know, again, <laughs> hustle's a skill. It really is. And you got to first have that mentality. Because, you know, there's a lot of kids even, like I said, we, we got our asses kicked, and there's a lot of impressive kids on other teams and kids that can dunk and, you know, do all this highlight reel type things. But eventually, you know, they're going to hit a ceiling too. Because at some point, you're going to go against kids as tall as you, as athletic as you, as gifted as you. And if they have more resolve, if they compete harder, if they play tougher than you, if they're more physical, you're going to get exposed. That's how the game works. So again, the biggest thing that you need to realize about the game of basketball is it's really about the sum of a million little efforts every single day, every single game, every single practice. It's not about stats. It's not about highlight plays. not about how many points you scored, how many plays went on YouTube or Instagram or any of those things. It's about doing the right thing, making winning plays every time. And when you train your motor, your body to never quit on plays, to sprint back every single time, to control what you can control, to block out, to cut hard, 
to run the floor hard, all those things, that's getting it. That's how you become a really good player. That's how you give yourself a chance, a chance to win games, a chance to compete at a high level. As much as people think NBA players don't play defense or, you know, love these viral clips, whatever, the truly elite ones, the Kawhis, the Steph Currys, the Giannis's, the LeBrons, they don't have an off switch. Most of the guys in the NBA, the ones at least that are successful and rotation players, they don't have an off switch. If they have any element of an off switch, then they get exposed or it's the reason why they can't break through in the playoffs. But that's the secret. Again, that there is no secret. That's about work. It's about mentality. It's about playing hard every second. Playing together. Not quitting. Not getting down. Understanding it's a game of runs and you're going to give up. Have some ones where you get outscored 10-2 or 12-2 or whatever in a minute or two. But who can keep playing? Who can push through that? Who can not give up even against a much bigger team? Who can stay together and talk and communicate and hustle on every single play and fight for every single ball? That's the secret. That's what the game is really about. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that thumb up button, subscribe. I've got lots of high level film studies and in depth things to help you as a player as well, but I think that's an important secret to really getting it and having success at whatever level of basketball you're at. Scout with Brian, the podcast, YouTube, Instagram. Thanks for watching. Take care.